views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. What if your biggest dreams were already assured as they've been written in the stars? Want a boost to raise your vibration to 5D and higher? Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams helps you access the wisdom of your higher self and guides to balance your ego, progress spiritually, and discover your life purpose and larger soul mission. Wendy is a Seattle area past life regressionist, certified spiritual teacher, Reiki master energy healer, and award-winning author. Plan your magic carpet ride now with Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams. Welcome back to Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams. We're discussing the beauty of intuition as our natural guiding force and how to increase yours as well as trust the wisdom of your soul so we can move forward easily and have a more joyful life. In a moment, I'll be introducing Deborah Stelfox. And first, I'd like to tell you a quick story of how we met. Um, I first met Deborah at a dinner meeting when she was the speaker. My guides practically pushed me up to the podium after she finished her numerology demo. And I hired her on the spot because my intuition was so strong. uh, It would be incredibly helpful for me. When Deborah and I first met, I was struggling to make sense of a romantic relationship that officially ended but still had a hold of me like a tiger by the tail. Uh, During my reading a few weeks later, Deborah was able to clearly identify what was occurring between my former lover and me at the soul level, what our karmic ties were, and most importantly, how I could work the antidotes to free us both. I was literally just sitting there praying while I was talking with her. Oh, please have an answer. Please have an antidote. (laughs) That's what I was so waiting for. And that relationship became my first book, um, Regression Healing One, The Huntsman, The Lord High Mayor, and The World War II Soldier, available on Amazon. It's an example of what an actual past life regression session with me is like. Now on to our guest. Deborah Stelfox is a numerologist, certified intuitive career coach, love relationship coach, and owner of The Divine Matchmaker, a transcendental meditation teacher, ordained minister, master dowser, and is currently working on certifications as a practitioner of Dr. Bradley Nelson's Emotion Code and Body Code. Deborah jokes her need to wear all these hats is the triple five in her numerology chart. Her services combine to create a spiritual love guru who believes there's a lid for every pot. And whether someone wants to find their beloved or is already in a relationship or marriage, that we all need to have conscious and healthy relationships. Deborah assists with the inner journey of emotional healing, increased relationship skill set, spiritual fullness, and love of self and career that's required. Her intent is to help clients create and radiate a more powerful field of unconditional pure love and increase self actualization for all to enjoy. Welcome, Deborah. Thank you, Wendy, and thank you for that great introduction. I feel so honored, and I feel so (laughs) honored to be on your maiden voyage with your radio show. This is so fun. Yes. Well, I'm so happy that you and and Valerie could be here. What inspired you to become a numerologist? Well, I had been at many careers that were decent for me, but I never in my life felt like I had totally hit the arrow on the bullseye. It's different to be out in the periphery a little bit and like, oh, that's good for me. But Mm -hmm. the magic is doing your passion and feeling like every morning you wake up and can say, I love what I do. So in my second Saturn return, and, you know, Valerie told us a little about Saturn returns in our charts, um, late 50s, early 60s, I just was on my knees to God. What's next? I knew I wanted to reinvent myself. Mm -hmm. And it was... um, I created an affirmation. Somebody taught me about the Ben Franklin technique where you write out an affirmation 15 times. So it would be one in the morning. And no matter how tired I was, if that even happened, I would still do it because I was committed. Just before sleep. Yes, I had to have this come to me. And so I was on my knees to God and the whole universe. And 
Wendy, it started opening doors within the first 30 days of doing this technique. Oh, that's It just tremendous. started opening doors, and part of it was a book signing with our famous numerologist, Glynis McCants, and from there I studied everybody, and before you knew it, planes, trains, and automobiles, you were a victim of me going on and on and on <laughs> about your chart if you let me. Oh, that's <laughs> and great. And it went from there. It mushroomed. Wonderful. And why is Pythagoras, who's the ancient Greek mathematician and philosopher, why is he considered the father of numerology? I just loved what you had to tell me about that. Oh, when we because spoke last because week. he was the one that brought to our view that there is more than mathematics to numbers; they have meaning. So, whereas your first guest, Valerie, can t- can help us with the configuration of the planets and bring mm-hmm. that meaning to our lives in an individual way, we can do that with numbers. With the name you have that you use, like I use the name you go by as well as your birth certificate name. For me, they're both significant and have a place in our chart as well as your birthday. And then I can give you a lot of the same understanding about traits, talents, abilities. And then I loved you sharing your experience. It warms my heart so much that, you know, it gave you what to me is the most important thing about what I can do as a numerologist help give somebody clear direction and more self-actualization. Yes. And if we can do that, um, it makes our life better, so much better. Absolutely. And on that note, um, we know a lot of people um, feel that they're really struggling. They're very concerned about the state of the world today. What do you see as important for mankind when you look at the numerology of the year 2017? Because years also have meaning, don't they? Oh, my gosh, yes. And I'm so glad you asked that question because it's a lot on my mind. I love politics. I love the world situation. I'm a humanitarian. And we are in a personal year of one. If you take 2017, 2 plus 1 plus 7 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. We're in a a world year of one. Okay. What does that mean? Okay, let's take every number has a higher frequency and a lower. If we take the higher frequencies of the one, it is about new beginnings. Mm-hmm. Starting, you know, charting a new course because in numerology, years are in cycles, one to nine. The number's one to nine, and it starts over. A year of one is a new beginning. It's about a pioneering spirit, leadership, being innovative. It could be forceful. It's a creative visionary, being really staunchly independent and being very original. And we have had a lot of that because we have a new president in our government, for example. Yes. We're starting a new course. So, He's there trying to work with Congress best he can. But if you look at the negatives of the number one, let's see how that's played out, thinking of the world stage. Impatience with the opinions of others. (laughs) We're certainly (laughs) seeing that. And and, uh, demands of its own way, defiant, dictatorial, opinionated, refusal to take advice or be told. Has that contributed to the divisiveness and the degree of divisiveness at this time? Hello, yes. So I'm looking forward to our next year in 2018, which is a year yes. of love. Two is the love number. It yes. will be in a world year of love. Well, let's hold that thought for yeah. one moment and invite callers to um, call in and get your numerology reading um, with Ooh. Deborah right okay. now. Great. So you're welcome to call 1-800-930-2819 um, and provide Deborah with your full date of birth, month, day, and year. And if your question pertains to another person... Um, please also provide their birth date. Um, so, Deborah, let's go back to how does 2018 look? So we've got that that beginning of everything that's going on in 2017 being um, tumultuous for some people. Other people, it's just wonderful. They've got all these exactly. marvelous new things exactly, going on. Exactly, darling. And for me as a love and relationship coach mm-hmm. and numerologist who adores doing compatibility charts and helping people with their love life, as you experienced. Mm -hmm. Um, It's a year of two. Two is the consummate love number in numerology. It will bring forward all that energy to help and support all those of us who are sitting there going, I love the process of loving and being loved, but maybe I'm not measuring up in my marriage or relationship or having enough of my bite of love. Or maybe if I'm single, I'm longing for love. And so it's a, it's, it's an ability to take a look at that. If we're in a relationship, it's a, it's an invitation to polish our relationship more. Because don't you find that many relationships get stale, especially as they're more long term? And my, my message to people on that is if we're getting into escape, avoid, make nice, escape, avoid, make nice, escape, avoid, make nice, that's a trigger. It's time to juice it up. Got you know, it. do all the fun things like little, little love notes in the lunch. 
um, you know, having the bubble bath when you come home from work for your significant other and put on the candles and do something magic and wonderful and find ways to inject more excitement and, and, and clear the clutter with emotional healing. It's very important. But for the world, darling, in a year of two, um, it's going to be a year where we will find, I believe, more sensitivity. Um, we will find more patience, more lovingness, understanding, cooperation, mediation, harmony, and diplomacy. And that's a hope for the world. Fantastic. And I'm so excited to oh, see what that might wonderful. look like, where we could maybe find something called compromise. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we're going to segue to a caller. Eric, do we have time or should we wait for after break? Sharon is patiently waiting um, for us. I, I think we could probably get to the call. Excellent. Well, let's talk with Sharon um, from Puyallup. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Well, Sharon, I see that you're um, born on the 30th in 1956, which makes you an exquisite baby boomer, right? That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you love being part of that generation? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I see, first of all, darling, that I want to talk to you about is you are in, um, you have a life path of seven. Um, Did you know that about yourself? It's a what? A life path? Life life path. A Uh seven. seven. Okay, life path is the most powerful number in your chart. It says more about you than any other number. Okay. And and, and it's flavored with a two and a five before we, two plus five is seven before we break you to a seven. What seven is about is it's a spiritual number. I suspect you are um, in affiliation in the belief of a higher power. Yes. It's very important for you, honey. It's a foundation of your life. Uh-huh. If you don't have a philosophy, a way, a religion, a yogic path, whatever you use for your spirituality, if you don't have a strong way of defining what that is and living it, and a person in your life who supports you doing that the way you see that, you're all adrift. That's the mo- uh-huh. that's a cornerstone for you. Uh-huh. And you have some natural intuition in, in a couple of different ways. Um, don't you find that there's times when you just know how to live your life by the seat of your pants and your gut talks to you, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the zero in your birthday, 30, that's a gift of divine intuition, especially when it comes to communication. So there's times when I see in relationship you want your woman cave and you walk away from contentiousness, you don't like it, and then your challenge is, is to learn ways that you can be more emotionally literate and emotionally available for intimacy so that what's in your heart comes out you know, your mind-mouth coordination <laughs> brings it out wow. in a very great way so that you have wonderful communication skill set. If you've never developed that enough, you have talent to do so. So my advice is go for it. Learn everything you can about emotional intimacy and then let it play out because there's times you tend to run and want to be in your turtle shell when you feel really hurt. And um, just say, oh, I can be independent. I can handle it. And yet really you're feeling called forward to engage. Isn't that true? Yes. Okay. True. Yay. So there's another factor to you, too. And your attitude number is a four. Your attitude number is the way you have an attitude out to the to the world. You're very organized. You can be very left brain. You can be very analytical, supported by some of your intuition as well. So you have some wonderful qualities of heart and head. The four is about knowledge. It's a teacher number. And you can be doing a career where you bring liveliness and life spark and interest and people skills to a career that is technical or involves critical thinking skills and analyzation. So what do you do, darling, in your life? Okay. What do you do? Um, I work for a school. I Hello. For a school. So you're involved with teaching and education mm-hmm. yes. and administration and so forth. That's perfect. And you bring life spark to that. So keep, keep being alive. Keep giving that life spark. This is a wonderful uh, world year for you, a world year of one. It's very compatible to your seven. So my advice is if, No matter what your love life is right now, reach out, go for the gold of how you can love yourself more and in the process be more of a magnet to those that you love and who love you. And if you don't have love in your life, get busy, girl. Pursue love deliberately. It's okay. Okay. Well, well, thank you so much, Deborah, and thank you, Sharon, for calling. Um, We're going to take a quick break, and we will be back with Soul Wisdom Radio. Is traditional medicine not working for you? 
Do you still feel as if your health isn't 100%? Here at the Holistic Medical Center, Dr. Nushin Darvish and the qualified staff look through the dimensions of wellness and start a healing plan prioritized to your needs. Our physicians assess the whole you until complete health is achieved. Get the help you need by visiting drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Have you discovered the remarkable books at angelhealinghouse.com? Author Claire Candy Hoff has channeled rare books of inspiration and insight. Angels of Faith is an inspiring story of healing, comfort, and hope that reminds us that death is not to be feared, but embraced with joy. One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness takes readers on a roller coaster ride through Angel Ariel's five most important lives on Earth, as well as her experiences in the afterlife, and helps us remember our own journey across the veil. And Claire Candy's autobiography, I Am an Angelic Walk In, which details the 2003 soul exchange that took place when Claire Candy walked out of her body and Angel Ariel walked in, creating heaven on Earth for herself and others. To find out more about these wonderful books, visit angelhealinghouse.com today. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the drpatshow.com. Tune in each month to Synergenetic Living Radio, where Rick and Grace Paris discuss the synergenetic way of life, what it means to truly change your perspective in life, what it means to take control of your life and manifest your true desires. For more information on Rick and Grace Paris and Synergenetic Living, check out synergeneticliving.com. Get clear on the life you desire and the current life you are creating and what is between the two. Synergenetic Living, living life loud. Welcome back to Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams with my special guest, spiritual numerologist, Deborah Stelfox. On September, or excuse me, on Saturday, October 28th from 10 to 5, Deborah will be in person at the Northwest Psychic Fair in Seattle at the former Rainier Brewery Intraspace Seattle location. Go to her website, Deborah, D E B O R A H, Stellfox, S T E L F O X dot com for more information. Um, and both Deborah and I offer 15 minute complimentary consults for first-time prospective clients, so we would love to hear from you. And um, please go to my website, wendyrosewilliams.com, or find me on Facebook under my full name um, to learn more about the events that I'm having, because I have about um, six of those coming up in October. And right now, we're going to go to another caller. We have Arabella with us from Redmond. Welcome, Arabella. Hello, thank you. Hi, Arabella. You have a gorgeous name. Oh, my goodness. And I'm so glad you called. Now, could you tell me a little bit about your inspiration for calling us today? Love, career, what? Well, yes, um, I'm actually really fascinated with numerology. I took a Wednesday workshop, and I know the basics, but I just would love to hear just in, how the whole, you know, the whole spectrum yeah. of the numbers. Yeah, for you, for you, where you are in time and space. I'm very excited about where you're positioned in time and space. Let me ask you a quick question. Are you in a relationship, single, married, what? I am single in a relationship. Okay. And is it good for you? Um, it, you know, we we have had our challenges. We're very different, but we, um, we have a deep bond and um, just sort of yeah. Well, you would have a deep bond, but you would have a deep bond because you're all about that. Let me tell you about your chart. You're a master path 36 or 33, six master numbers are 11, 22, 33 and 44. And they don't make you a better person, but it means you're here to master your life. And it means that you could be beset with a, maybe a little bit higher frequencies than the average bear. So you feel pressure to do something big, grand, great, to make a difference, to make a splash. And sometimes it feels like a little pressure on your shoulders, doesn't it? Yeah. 
And with your six, three plus three is six. You're a six as a single digit. You're a six life path. Remember I said life path is the most powerful number in the chart? It says more about you mm-hmm. than any other number. It makes you want to have emotional intimacy. That's one of your primary things. So you're always going for that emotional heart connection, right? Right. But you mm-hmm. want it in a way that it's fun. Because, boy, I'll tell you what, after a while, Arabella, if your life isn't on fire and fun and you have some humor, it gets really boring for you. You like to have some excitement there as well. But you are one heck of a powerhouse. You have money attraction numbers. You have fun numbers of humor and lightness and positivity and a bounce and looking at life as magic. Your six makes you an emotional, a bit of an emotional healer and a nurturer. You have to be careful about being codependent. But I don't think you have to, as much to worry about as other people who carry the six because I see you flanked by energy that makes you a bit of a no-nonsense girl. So there's times when you know how to set those boundaries and, and not let yourself fall completely into that space of being codependent where you lose yourself for the sake of wanting to help others. I see you being a leader, a self-starter. I see you being allergic to a boss. Are you self-employed? Yes, I am. Yay, it's perfect for you, darling. You are a very independent woman who has executive ability, creative visionary power, and love from your heart. So you make your people who are your clients, your coworkers, your employees, you make them kind of like family, and you care. Right? Right? Yeah, I mean, I think um, I've I've struggled a little bit with feeling like I can finish projects and kind of, um, you know, have lots and lots of ideas in many different directions, and sometimes I feel like I don't focus enough. Well, um, that could be due to some other things in your chart. Why don't you? Get, I invite you to give me a call. You can check out my website and get my phone number there. Just give me a call. We'll talk okay. about it. You get a free 15-minute consult. So let's chat about that a little bit later, okay? Okay. All right, honey. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much for calling. You have a wonderful day. Mm-hmm. Well, super. Well, we are able to take another call. Um, so please um, give us a call at one 800 and now I have lost that number. Who's going to give me that number? <laughs> How funny. Here it is. 1-800-930-2819. Um, if you'd like to speak with Deborah. Deborah, um, with your uh, divine matchmaker hat on, I know that's one of your favorite hats. Can you speak <laughs> to the importance of self-love when attracting a partner or taking your relationship to the next level? That's a two-pronged answer, and I love that question. Um, first of all, self-love is something that eludes all of us completely because everybody, don't you find, Wendy, that almost everybody has some layer of low self-esteem or some little voice in them that says, I have to do more, be more, ascend, you know, something it's a force of life on. and they're working on mm-hmm. and we don't feel like we're all walking around. We want to be the Buddha or the Christ, a lot of us, but we're in process. And so... What I like to tell people is let's go for the ultimate. I'm a bit of an elitist. And um, the ultimate place where there is no self-loathing, do you know where there is no self-loathing if we sit and think about it? Mm -hmm. There is a place that you know already. But Mm -hmm. the, the place where there is absolutely none is when we go into the transcendent, that place that we call source or God or infinity. All right, being, pure being, pure consciousness. Mm -hmm. Okay, so taking time spiritually to practice something that puts you in that space, Mm -hmm. it's a state of grace that there is no self-loathing. And the more we take some regular schedule to get into that space, we start to become and express that spontaneously in our activity. It's like a shower. When we take a shower, we don't have to think we're clean all day. You just take a shower and you're clean. So you take a dive into source, into being, into God, and then that starts to seep in more and more and more if you make it a regular practice. So that right there helps you with self-love. That's More dynamically than anything else. So we're going to need to transition to the end of the show, Deborah. So thank you for that lovely thought. Oh, yeah. We have several callers, and I invite you to go to Deborah's website. Um, She's at Deborah, D-E-B-O-R-A-H, Stellfox, S-T-E-L-F-O-X dot com. And I'd like to thank my guests, Valerie Shin and Deborah Stelfox, for sharing their beautiful energy and their expertise and intuition today. And thank you, listeners, for tuning in to Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams on the Dr. Pat Transformation Network and to Eric Ryder for keeping us running on time. 
Please join me the first Tuesday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific. My November 7th guests will be sexuality coach Dr. Jen Gonzalez and Johnstown, Pennsylvania author and historian Becky Buco. Um, Dr. Jen will be discussing the benefits of mindfulness, and Becky will be um, reviewing her very intriguing energy technique, Pandora, from her Pandora book series. Until next time, this is Wendy Rose Williams inviting you to tune into the wisdom of your soul and feel into the peace and the love and the joy that all reside within you. Thank you for being here. You've been listening to Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio to raise your vibration and live a joyful life. Wendy reviews crucial energy basics in fresh new ways from her perspective as a past life regressionist, Reiki master energy healer, and spiritual teacher, including how to ground, clear, and balance your energy to be sovereign. Tune into your soul's infinite wisdom, raise your vibration, and discover your greatest joy on Soul Wisdom Radio. Visit wendyrosewilliams.com to download this podcast, to learn more about having a healing session with Wendy, or to order one of her publications. 